This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for choosing WCPO 9 News. I'm Courtney Francisco. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. New this evening, we're still working to get more details about a police investigation in Gallatin County. This is a look at this scene in Warsaw last night. We are working to get more information from Kentucky State Police. We will update you as soon as we learn more. Today, a man was in court for the first time accused of causing the crash that killed a local father near Northgate Mall yesterday. A judge set Antonio Walford's bond at $100,000 for aggravated vehicular homicide. Colerain Township police believe he wrecked into the car Ronald Washington Jr. was driving around 10 Friday morning. Cincinnati kids also had a chance to check out potential career paths at Duke Energy Center. We were there as high school and college students checked out the Mayor's Career Expo. They got to hand out resumes and connect with local employers. Over 1,000 high school seniors, recent graduates, and college students attended the event. Bachfest is back for its 30th year. The annual festival celebrates Cincinnati's brewing heritage and Bach beer, and it's all happening at a different area, Finley Playground. It's been a weekend filled with nonstop activities, including food, music, and of course, beer. Tonight was the Sausage Queen competition on the Bachfest Hall stage. The festival is making a comeback this year after the COVID-19 pandemic postponed last year's weekend festival. And people are excited to experience this again. 30,000 people are expected to come throughout the weekend, and that means congestion around the festival's new home, Finley Playground. Let's send it now to Taylor Nimmo for a look at your forecast. As we head throughout your Saturday evening, we'll see temperatures dropping into the mid 60s by midnight tonight. We'll see 65 and overcast skies tonight. We've got a low of 60 throughout the overnight and rain will return to the area after midnight tonight and continue through Sunday morning. It's going to be cloudy and windy, but a high of 70 for your Sunday shower chances and thunderstorms will be possible and those gusty winds continue as we wrap up the weekend. Looking at your nine day forecast, we've got the potential for some heavy rain overnight Sunday into Monday and cooler temperatures return following the cold front that passes through the area on Monday.